Greetings everyone, this is Danny from hardtravel.com, your luxury cruise experts, and today I am aboard the most exclusive ship at sea, which is the Regent Seven Seas Explorer. When she was built in 2016, nothing like it had ever been seen in the cruise industry. There is marble everywhere, it is incredibly luxurious, and some of the largest, most spacious and elegant suites ever built in the entire cruise industry. Make sure that you watch our videos about all of the suite categories, and uh, check out that Regent suite, it is something ex extraordinarily special at over 4,000 square feet. So right now I am up on the very top deck. You can see the pool below me. It is a massive pool for a ship this size. You've got the two hot tubs there that are shaded. And then of course, all of the seating all the way around. You've got that really plush and uh, luxurious feeling day beds and uh, loungers. So if you'll follow me, we're gonna head around the deck and uh, show you around this incredibly beautiful vessel. Okay, so behind me you have ping pong and then you have a ton of these beautiful, really nice day beds. And this is also the jogging track. I did want to point that out. But in the, in the mornings and in the evenings especially, a lot of this is put away and it's a very, very quiet ship at those times of day because people are enjoying everything else on board. So right here you have these beautiful loungers. I love that they have this great shade structure here. And then of course the, the beautiful teak. All of this, uh, you get unlimited complimentary cocktails, and then uh, all, basically anything that you want to eat or drink on board the ship, and you can have it served to you here, looking out at an unbelievable ocean view. In just a few minutes, we sail out of the port of Miami. All right, so we're going to continue on along this jogging track area, um, and we're going to turn just here. You can see there's a ton more day beds. They always have the towels, very fluffy and soft. I really love, love them when we're on board. And then you can see here they have more loungers with this nice, nice little alcove area that sticks off over the pool. All right, so all the way down here in the pool, this is a perfect place to see the, uh, the Regent logo down there. But one thing that I love is they have all of the bench seating, which allows you to uh, sit there and then put your feet in the water. This goes all over the entire world, and so you get into some tropical destinations where you're really really gonna appreciate having that amazing size pool so now we're up on the sports deck which is an aft part of the ship I love that they have the golf clubs and the golf balls here so you can practice you get a lot of guests on board that love to play golf of course they have some amazing golf packages around the world and we've created some amazing golf vacations all the way around a cruise package for our clients many many times okay so also up on the sports deck here you are gonna have shuffleboard Shuffleboard is the classic cruise ship game. It's always a bunch of fun. And uh, on board here, it's known to, uh, to get a little bit competitive from time to time. I know I've had some, uh, some fun with people while I've been on board. They're also gonna have a full putting green. And notice I don't say miniature golf course because of course it's Regent. So they're gonna go ahead and give you a really nice putter. Many people, of course, bring theirs on board because they're gonna golf in some of the port stays, but they'll give you a real putter and uh, all the way around the entire ship, you've got this, uh, this course. So lots of different angles, uh, lots of different breaks and things like that. So you can go ahead and study up on it. And when you get home, you won't be out of practice like I am. Oh, read that just a little bit wrong. It's all good. All right, so right over here, you have the full paddle ball court. Um, also, you can play pickleball in here and then uh, tennis, essentially. But you're up on the top of the ship. You get these really, really nice breezes up here. But I think they did a great job utilizing the entire top of the ship. So another classic game that has taken off is, of course, bocce ball. So they've got a really, really massive uh, bocce ball course here. Um, once again, another fun game that can be a little bit competitive. And if you're doing extended days at sea or just uh, you know traveling on a longer cruise, having all these different activities to do, especially if it's something that you do at home, is a great benefit on board Regent. So once again, Regent is ultra luxury. And what that really means is that everything's included. You get business class air on their international trips. You also are going to get all of your shore excursions included. There are some upgrade options, but you can go on an amazing shore excursion every single day and, uh, and have that taken care of. And of course, if you are in that Regent suite, you have a car and driver waiting for you at every single port in the world where they can make that happen. Um, and uh, it's a really, really special benefit that you get. All right, so behind me is a feature that I wanted to talk about. It's one of those unique features on board this ship. It's the most photographed spot by far down below but what you have is this massive 14 story atrium that starts at the bottom and it lets all of this incredible light in and uh, you'll see it throughout the entire tour so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna walk onto the pool deck here you've got towels they're all over you can grab them whenever you want you can also ask for one you got the pool bar here once again an entire array of top shelf alcohol that's all included as part of your region experience so now I am on the pool deck uh, you can see right here a really really massive pool it's big enough to do laps and then of course you have the area you can sit on the outside and put your feet in and really enjoy it but you got a mixed seating you've got the double uh, loungers over here a whole array of loungers and then all of these stories throughout I was just listening to them talk about oh my gosh I haven't seen you in a while but that is the Regent touch it's about 
remembering people, remembering things that they want, but also really just about the, uh, the environment together where everybody is taking care of each other and really looking out. So I love the staff on board. I know that you're gonna love the staff on board, but that's really something that sets them apart completely. So right over here is one of two hot tubs You've got this beautiful shade structure once above, again, and then over there you can kind of see the top of what I was talking about with that uh, huge atrium that starts all the way down in the bottom of the ship. So now we're going to head on over to uh, the outdoor dining area. So this is the, uh, the pool grill. Right here you've got a full grill going. You see that smoke coming up. I just had a burger. It was really, really good. Uh, but they're going to grill everything uh, right here uh, to order for you. And then as you walk along, there's a really, really large assortment of food. It's kind of a double buffet area, but if you'll follow me in here, right here you can have a pizza station, some roll in the dough. They do that every single, for every single pizza. It's something that's created fresh. And then along here you have what you would expect from a salad bar, sandwiches that are ready to grab and go. Um, and then also my very, very favorite spot. I wish it was the fruit, but it's, of course, the desserts. They're absolutely delicious on board. So on th this side as well as the other side, you're gonna have really large seating areas so you never have to find space. So right here, coffee station, of course, they will get that for you, complimentary throughout, and then I've been known to eat my weight in cookies here on Regent, just saying. So as we head up the ramp, it kind of converts into more of a really beautiful lounge space. So you can see all the touches that they have with all the furniture. Um, and when they did the uh, massive renovation recently, they really, really stepped it up and the decor is beautiful. Okay, so just aft of the pool area, you have La Veranda. That is the buffet on board Regent. So it's only available in that sense uh, for breakfast and lunch. They have a large assortment for you to choose from. Um, and we're gonna head all the way to the back, but all the way along the side here, there's a ton of dining space. Um, and then of course, on boarding day, this is gonna be one of the places that's a little bit more crowded. So there's three or four places that you can eat on boarding day. So you might wanna think about that. Um, and then of course, if you have one of the top suites, you can just order in as soon as you're able to get into your suite. So now as we're heading Back. You can see there's an assortment of stations here. So on this side, you're going to have everything that is pre-prepared. So you've got potatoes and rice, Indian food, vegetables. Um, over here, you've got a large salad bar area. Uh, in the middle, one of my all-time favorites, shrimp cocktail. That's always available and uh, for very good reason. Um, you've got grill to order, so you've got chicken, steaks, and things along those lines. Um, some salad, more salads, and then of course the fantastic desserts. But I want to take you outside. All right, so now we're on the aft veranda. This is an incredibly popular place. It's my favorite place to be on board and eat. Open air, very, very casual. You've got the buffet. And then one thing that I wanted to point out is that in the evening, they shut down the buffet as a buffet and it turns into an Italian restaurant. It's kind of like a specialty restaurant. Uh, you can go there every night if you'd like, but it's phenomenal Italian food, ton of antipasto, a lot of things done table side as well. So over here, you've got the service station, uh, but you can see this is a very popular place, especially on boarding day like today. Right, one thing that I did want to point out is, uh, well, I have a very, very deep relationship with ice cream. We love each other a lot, um, and I love that they have sorbets, ice creams, gelatos, always available, complimentary throughout the day. This isn't the only spot, but one of my favorite spots. So I will see you in just a few minutes when we finish the tour. All right, so now I'm inside the massive Culinary Arts Center. They really hit it out of the park with this. This is also one of those places where you can see that kind of overlap between the Oceana brands, um, of course. But right here, you have 18 cooking stations. You're going to have a master chef up there who's going to teach you. And then, of course, there'll be assistants. They'll be helping you throughout the way. But you may not want to eat dinner after this because, well, you're going to enjoy every single minute of it. And then, of course, you're going to eat a little bit of food along the way that you prepared. So now I'm in the library. And one of the signatures in here is you do have a leather floor. It's a really, really beautiful thing. It's a massive space. They have these huge emerald club chairs in here, very soft and comfortable furniture. Um, and it means a lot to Regent to have the library. They're even expanding it on the Splendor. All these books in here, once again, a carefully curated collection. All of them can be taken out by the guests. They use the honor system. Um, but this is just a quiet, relaxing place to hang out, enjoy your time. And then, of course, they have these massive windows in here and the beautiful seats there so that you can check out the ocean view while you're reading a book. Okay, so another thing that is complimentary is all of the different newspapers from around the world, and in the top suites, you actually get those in there. Uh, but they've now partnered with a company where you can get those downloaded directly to your iPad, your iPhone, your whatever it is that you have traveling with you. So once again, you can stay up to date with the news if you want to while you're traveling. All right, so now we're gonna head into the observation lounge. So one really cool thing about this space is actually the entryway. So they have these big orange lights at the end there, and then all these different angles and shapes so it reflects in a different way. It's kind of like going into uh, you know, an art deco uh, hotel in Miami, uh, circa you know, just a few years ago, but that's kind of the vibe of this space in general. So you have beautiful, beautiful furniture as you do throughout the ship. Um, once again, some beautiful artwork in here. And this is the perfect place to get a pre-dinner cocktail, a post-dinner cocktail. Um, also over on the side here, you're gonna have a full piano. Um, the pan piano 
It's kind of light listening uh, throughout the, the evening that they're gonna have in here. They also have a great dance floor and of course the bar. But what really stands out in this space is these massive windows. Um, so you're looking right out the very top of the ship here. It's the same exact view that the captain gets. And so when you're doing some of the scenic areas in different parts of the world, this is a perfect place to sit. So of course, if you have one of those forward facing suites, that's pretty awesome as well. But this is the, uh, the ultimate space to view. So as we continue on here, show you you've got kind of this uh, lounge set up here with all the bench seating the chairs and then the low top cocktail tables. Um, this is a really cool dance floor, beautiful uh, glass sculptures. So there's a ton of Venetian glass throughout the entire ship. Once again, the bar here. And then as we continue on, you can see how you have a little more of that kind of living room style vibe in here with the, uh, the fake fireplace over there. But it's essentially just a 180 degree wraparound deck. You have views on each side, views facing forward. And I know my wife would actually turn this into her sewing room because she likes to find a place with great light during the day. This is a great place to hide out, read a book and, uh, and relax. And then the library of course is just outside right next door. All right, so just outside the observation lounge is the card room. Uh, they're having a meeting in there right now, uh, but basically it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a pretty big space for a ship this size. They're gonna have bridge tournaments, any kind of card game that you can imagine, and then also all of the other different games. In fact, you can practice your trivia because trivia is an incredible sport on board Regent, and you wanna be ready and prepped before you get started. So now I am inside the Connoisseur Club, so it's beautifully decorated big comfy uh, couches over here and it's one of the few places on board that you can smoke cigarettes along with cigars. They have a huge collection of cigars that you can purchase from and then of course some of the uh, the top shelf liquors that go with it but this is a smoker's paradise in here. All right, so now we're headed into Prime 7 Steakhouse. It is a beautiful space. Once again, this beautiful black and white Carrera uh, marble on the floor here. What I love is they have a really elegant bar area. Um, so they've got this extra seating here and over there. Um, but I did want to point out that just outside the restaurant, there is a authentic Picasso. Right here you have a Marc Chagall painting, and then there's also another Picasso just above the host stand. But what I love about this space is it's a great place to get a cocktail before or after the meal, and then it also helps uh, you know, kind of speed up the service as well because this is where people hang out and relax. And I love that they've done that with all of the specialty restaurants on board. So now as we walk in, you can see the space. Once again, it's kind of that modern twist on a classic space like they've done throughout the entire ship. Um, they have an amazing uh, porterhouse, 24 ounce porterhouse. That's uh, the signature, signature steak and it's also uh, one of my all time favorite, but they also have a very large seafood menu. With all the specialty restaurants on board, you are gonna get uh, one pre-reservation that you can make, um, and then you should be able to make another one when you're on board. Basically, it's just based on the availability and then of course the tier that which you book into. But once again, this is a phenomenal option and whenever you dine with it on board, you're gonna love it. So it's a huge space. I'm gonna continue on back here. You see there's a mix of seating, a ton of two tops. You've got six and eight tops here. They also have the really nice bench booths over there. Um, but I wanted to take you to the very back of the ship because as always, the aft is my favorite place place on a ship. So I love sitting back here so you can look out the aft. I love the view of the wake. It's just very calming and relaxing. It's a perfect place if you're having like a birthday celebration or something along those lines, but you can share it with all of those around you. Or if you just want a table for two, that's perfect as well. Okay, so now we're at the very, very back of the ship in kind of a secret area. This space is only available to those who are staying in the most exclusive part of the ship, which is the Regent Suite. We have a full video on that if you want to check that out. I highly recommend you do. Over 4,000 square feet. But this is one of the spaces that only they get access to. You see the beautiful jade inlay. All of the decor has been hand-picked. Uh, it's very, very refined. This is meant to be like a private study, or it can also be the private dining room that you can have lunch and dinner in here. If you like, of course, you can have it in your room. You can have it in any of the restaurants on board, but this is your private space. This is an amazing place to celebrate an anniversary or a birthday or just get a group of friends together and share exactly what it is that, you, that you're celebrating all together. All right, so now we are just on the other side of Prime 7. We are in Chartreuse. So Chartreuse is based on classic, modern, refined French restaurant experience. Absolutely delicious. Um, they have an a, the eclectic group of, uh, they've got these bench seats that look out all the way at the water. And then of course they have the two tops all along the uh, ocean as well, as well as four and six tops. And then of course, I do recommend going to the very back, just like at Prime 7 and sitting there as well. But one little fun fact about this restaurant and all the restaurants on board the entire ship, all of the china, all of the silverware, everything is unique to each individual restaurant. And even the linens are unique to the individual restaurant based on the pattern that they have. So once again, and another fantastic option on board the Explorer. And then as we continue on through, we'll just finish off at the bar. So this is a great bar seating area. So you can grab a cocktail before or after your dinner and really just uh, basically enjoy the entire experience from start to finish. All right, so now I'm in one of the laundrettes on board. So several of the suite categories do give you complimentary laundry. You can, of course, send your laundry out if you'd like, but many people, especially on longer cruises, 
do like to do their own, especially the intimates and such. So this is the laundry room area. It's all complimentary. There's two chairs here. You also have a television there. So if you want to hang out in here, I guess that's uh, something that you could do waiting for laundry. And then over here, you're going to have two dryers, two washers, all complimentary. Soap is complimentary as well. So one of those things that uh, if you just want to take care of a little bit of that yourself, this is the, the easy place to do it. All right, so now we are in deck five forward. The theater is just there to my left, but we're gonna take a look at it from down below. I did wanna point out that the business center is just here on the left. They have uh, four computers in there, basically an internet cafe. One thing that I wanted to stop and talk to you about for just a minute is onboard region. In most of the rooms, you're gonna get one complimentary login per cabin. So what's really important is whoever you registered in the very first day, if it's a husband and wife staying together, you register that, you log in, and then you can trade al alternate devices as often as you like, but you just have to log out one and then log into the other one. Once again, you get one complimentary. That doesn't mean that you can't purchase the other one as well, but just something I wanted to give you a heads up on. So right here is the main entryway. This is where we came in just a few minutes ago and had a wonderful champagne greeting. And then to my left here is the cruise consultant. You are always going to get the best deal on your next cruise on board the ship. And then of course they transfer it right onto your travel agent so that we can provide the service throughout the entire experience. The next one is going to be the restaurant reservation. So you can pre-reserve some of the restaurants, but if you want an extra dining, my recommendation is that you come in right when you get on board, check that out and then ask for what you're looking for. So this is another space that's kind of like more like the family room, living room area. You have beautiful couches over here where you can sit and relax. I know during the day, this is a beautiful, usually sunny place where you could sit and read or so along those lines. And then as you continue on across, um, you're gonna have the reception desk and then you're also gonna have destination services over there. So remember that you wanna book all of your shore excursions well in advance. They are complimentary on board. And when they're released, they go pretty quick. So my high recommendation is that you book those the moment that you come out, go ahead and plan ahead and then go ahead and pick them right away. One thing that I really appreciate about their excursions is that they are included. So you kind of know what you're paying for ahead of time. Of course, they do have upgraded excursions, but their standard ones are going to be relatively small group. They never fill up a complete bus. And then you're also going to have the smaller ones to choose from that you pay a little more for. The easy way to think about it is if you do choose one of the upgraded experiences, essentially they're subsidizing it. So it's going to be a considerably lower price than you would pay on the market. And they've researched it, curated it, and made sure that it's an amazing experience for you, their guest. All right, so now I'm headed into the Coffee Connection. It is a beautiful space. So once again, complimentary included, and you can see the beautiful design work here, the big leather booths, and then the large chairs. And then all throughout, you have an eclectic amount of seating in here, um, all kinds of different things. But really, this is a place to relax, have coffee, read the newspaper in the morning. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna head over, and I love Ely Coffee. It's my favorite in the entire world, so I'm gonna get one of those. Can I get a uh, latte and a cafe Americano, please? Sure. Fantastic, thank you you know that you definitely have to keep the cameraman happy. So there you go, enjoy. All right, one other really fantastic feature that I appreciate that they did is that they added in some alfresco dining so you can also enjoy your coffee outside as well. So another really great touch is they always have food out here. It kind of rotates throughout the day, but you got different fruits and uh, meats, breads, cookies, and then of course my favorite, the desserts, the fruit tarts are really, really exceptional. And they also have the self-service coffee maker over here. So if you don't want to wait for coffee or it's late in the evening, you can use that as often as you like and uh, make your own coffee. All right, so now I'm headed into the Meridian Lounge. You see they have a really, really large bar here. This is a multi-function space. Probably what it's most known for is the trivia. Very competitive, very fun. People take it incredibly serious, and I love some trivia myself. But you see, once again, a very elegant space here. And then as we head over to the other side, um, you're also gonna have this dance floor here. You've got the piano, uh, and they will have a band in here. It's gonna be a little bit faster paced, a little more going on here than upstairs, but basically uh, pre and post dinner cocktails and dancing right here in the Meridian Lounge. All right, so now I'm headed into Pacific Rim, and it is as beautiful as it is delicious. So right behind me is an authentic Tibetan prayer wheel. Um, these all spin, of course, with the tradition, you make a wish. I know what my wish is, and it might involve being back on the ship pretty soon, but basically they had to completely reinforce the ground underneath it to get this amazing architectural piece in here. But what this restaurant is, in general, it's kind of an Asian fusion. You do have definitely some Japanese, some Chinese, and then even some, uh, you know, some California fusion in there as well. Uh, and my favorite, which is sushi. I love sushi, and they do an unbelievable job at it. 
What really sets this space apart is this cavernous like walkway takes up so much room, but that's what this ship is about. It's about elegance and design over you know, sacrificing more rooms and things like that. You have the beautiful setups here. Um, once again, different in every single uh, restaurant that you have on the entire ship. And then you have the ocean views looking out if you're on the side. But the, the attention to detail is immaculate. These, all the Asian touches in here, um, you see these really, really beautiful, the artwork inside of it, um, absolutely stunning lampshades here. Um, and then one unique feature about this restaurant is it has all female staff. It's the only one on board. I definitely recommend that you give it a try once on your cruise at least, and if not, maybe two or three times if you can get in here for that. All right, so now we're headed into the Serene Spa and Wellness Center on board. Once again, a magnificent and massive entryway and then amazing staff, of course, as well. Uh, we know that to be sure. Um, so as soon as we get down here, the first spot that I am going to take you into is actually the uh, salon area. But once again, I think you can see it with the, the wide angle lens. It's just a huge space and it's really, really beautiful. So right when you walk in here, you notice, of course, they have the top quality products. Um, and right here, you're going to have the ability to have a pedicure looking out at the ocean, a beautiful view. You've got the manicure station here. And then of course the, the full salon station, so you can get any treatment that you can imagine on land. You can also get here as well. And then of course you can purchase any of these things and they are all duty free, so a lot of them tend to be a better value when purchased on board. All right, so now you have the front desk of the spa and they do some really cool things here. Um, but one of them I love is that you check out um, all the different gemstones here. You pick the one that kind of resonates with you and then they utilize it to make your custom aromatherapy scent that will start and finish your spa treatment. And then of course this beautiful and elegant lounge area where you get ready to go in. And then of course beautiful and elegant people here as well. So now we're going to continue on into the heart of the spa. And it's, once again, at every single corner, there's beautiful artwork, and it's really, really stunning. But I thought it very, very interesting that the most expensive piece of art on the entire ship is actually in this stairwell leading up to the fitness center. So another beautiful piece of art, once again, all hand, cur hand curated and picked out by Chairman and CEO Frank Del Rio. So now I'm going to head up to the fitness center. All right, so now we're headed into the main part of the fitness center. This is the area where you can consult with uh, the uh, fitness instructors in here. You can do private training, of course, if you'd like. Uh, they have classes, spin, all of those kind of things. In here, you have a pretty large section with uh, techno gym equipment. It's all uh, very modern. You've got quite a bit of it. You've got the ellipticals, the treadmills, all the different pulley machines in here. And what I love is that you're looking right out the very, very back of the ship. It's at a really low deck, which is unique for a spa and fitness center, but I think it's actually a perfect place to be on board this ship. So now I'm gonna continue back across to the other side um, because there is another fitness room on the other side, but I wanted to point out right here that I'm now standing over the infinity pool. In fact, it gives you a little bit of a, a unique vibe here, um, but it's really cool. You've got this see-through area down to the infinity pool, which is down in the spa. So now we're headed into the other part of the fitness center. So you've got more treadmills over here. You've got more of the techno gym equipment. And then of course, all the balls, the, uh, the dumbbells and any of the free weights over there, but a really la large assortment. And of course, um, when you're on a longer cruise on this, this is a perfect thing to have on board. All right, so now I'm gonna head back down to the spa area because I wanna take you around the corner to another stunning feature on board. But right now we're in the middle of the spa area. You have all of the different treatment rooms. And of course, as you would expect from a world-class spa, they have every single kind of treatment that you could possibly imagine. But right around the corner here, I'm gonna take you into one of the rooms just so you can kind of see quickly what it's all about. But of course they have the beautiful colors, the ambient lighting, the aromatherapy, and then uh, just really, really excellent masseuses and uh, spa personnel. Right, so now I'm just outside the men's and women's locker room. They are massive. They've got an infrared sauna in there. They have an aromatic steam room and they also have an ice cold room and then all the lockers. They even have an experience shower, which is kind of like a overall rainforest shower experience. Pretty cool. Um, but right out here is, are the stone loungers. So this is a place where you can sit. It's great on the back, especially if your back's bothering you, um, but essentially just to get zen and relax before or after your spa treatment. Then of course, they're gonna have teas, waters, and different uh, water, uh, fruit flavored waters as well. All right, so now we're on the very back of the ship, one of the hidden gems and my actual favorite place on board the entire ship. So you have this great sun deck back here, loungers, very, very comfortable, beautiful day beds, and of course this amazing view at the wake off the back of the ship. You have bar service back here, there's a bar menu that's actually spa specific, but this is what I am talking about. This is. Well, I, I don't think I've ever seen a space exactly like this on board any cruise ship. It's beautiful, it's elegant, and I can imagine spending quite a bit of time in here, you know, daydreaming and looking out the back of the ship. Uh, once again, just an incredibly beautiful space on board. All right, so now we are in the grand atrium area. It is spectacular. When I look straight up, 
It's one of the most beautiful sights I've ever seen on a cruise ship. It's really, really elegant and gorgeous. Of course, the massive crystal chandelier, the two matching uh, staircases that are beautiful, and then all of the curated art around. But this really is a living room area. Let's head back this way um, to the boutique. So there's one on either side. This is a huge Bellari boutique, but once again, very, very high in fashion and different retail. You can get watches, jewelry, uh, anything along those lines. And then of course, clothes and sundries uh, as well. All right, so now we are in the Constellation Theater, which is the main show lounge on board. So you've got a balcony up there. It's a really elegant room. You see the golds and the blues, of course. The front balcony seats are fantastic. The ones that are a little further back, not the greatest view in the world. And I know that they've made some uh, architectural changes for the splendor that's coming up. But I wanted to point out the stage area. It bows out here. They have huge screens on either side, so they really up the tech game. But one thing that I've noticed over the last two or three years is they have really, really, really gone all in with the entertainment. I think this is part to do with uh, being part of Norwegian Cruise Lines Holdings with Oceana, Norwegian, and Region. They've been able to kind of put all those energies together and create a world-class entertainment program. So you're gonna have full production shows here. You're gonna have comedians. You're gonna have, of course, lectures. This is all about furthering your, your own lifelong learning experience, of course, but this is just a great place to take in a show. All right, so now we are in the heart and soul of the ship. So this is kind of like the living room area. They're gonna have all the big parties here. New Year's Eve here is absolutely amazing. But when I've been on board, most of the parties have kind of been in this area and then also in the Explorer's Lounge. All the way around, you have amazing and beautiful art. In fact, that, that vase itself is uh, just an incredible piece of artwork. So on my left here is the casino. So they do have a full service casino on board the ship. Um, it's a relatively small space, but I never find it to be crowded. But if you wanna play blackjack, poker, uh, roulette, craps, that kind of thing. And then of course they have a wide array of uh, slot machines as well. All right, so now I'm gonna head on into the Explorer's Lounge. So once again, when you have the big parties, this kind of flows out into here, but another really, really beautiful space. If there is a nightclub on board, this would be the nightclub space. You can see you kind of have that darker um, interior in here. Once again, elegant furniture, an entire full bar set up here. They also use this bar to service uh, the areas just outside. And then up front here, you are gonna have a dance floor and a full stage. So if you wanna have a little karaoke fun or you wanna dance late into the evening, this this is the spot for you. All right, so now I'm gonna head out and into the Compass Rose dining room. So this is the main dining room on board. It is an unbelievably beautiful space. Something that you'll notice down on this floor is that the ceilings are 12 feet high, so significantly higher than any other part of the ship. And you really feel it kind of in that living room area. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk you right into the middle. This beautiful blown Venetian glass ceiling here is an iconic feature inside the room. And then of course, you're gonna have your custom Versace tableware. This was designed just for this ship. And actually it's not for sale. This is the only place where it's utilized. As we continue along the side here, I wanted to show you that the uh, the full shape of the space is actually a really large U. So you can think of this as the main part of the space. Once again, beautiful Venetian gl blown glass chandeliers, absolutely gorgeous. And then even the, uh, the bus stations are topped with marble. But as we head back into the corner here, I just wanted to point out that uh, this area is gonna be a little bit quieter. So if you happen to be somebody who wants a quieter meal, you're gonna wanna head all the way back here or at least request it. The other thing that I would say is early on and later is the best time to come if you want a two top table. Those go pretty quick, but there is a wonderful social experience to dining on board region. The other thing I wanted to point out about this particular space is that you have breakfast every day in here, and then you also have dinner every day in here. You do not need to make reservations. Wonderful, wonderful meal, and just a really beautiful space to enjoy it in. So now we're on the promenade deck on the Explorer. You can see that you have the lifeboats behind me. It does not go all the way around, but what I love is they've positioned the lifeboats so it doesn't really affect the experience for any of the rooms or suites on board. So the ship in general is considered the most luxurious cruise ship ever built. In fact, that was their tagline, and uh, I can see why. It is a spectacular uh, ship. It has marble everywhere, incredible decor, 12-foot ceilings down in the main uh, area down there on the atrium, and it's just beautiful. But what really sets this apart is the space on board. So some of the biggest suites at sea, of course, the biggest suite in the entire world. But in addition to that, the ship is two and a half uh, football fields long. It's over 100 feet wide. And as we've been touring it today, today is a fully sold out ship. So it's never gonna get more crowded than this. I was frankly blown away. And the reason that is, is you have 750 passengers on here and over 540 crew members. So an unbelievable ratio. And then of course, by building a larger ship and putting less people on it, you get that feeling of opulence and luxury. So just for perspective, the Oceana Riviera and the Marina, they're a little bit bigger than this, uh, but they also have over 500 passengers more on board the ship. 
Congratulations on making it all the way to the end. We really appreciate it. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel. You go ahead and hit the notifications bell, and then of course, like the video. At Heart Travel, we are your luxury cruise experts. We know this product inside and out. We have an amazing relationship with Regent, so we know that we can help you create the vacation of a lifetime at an incredible value.